First to 530, a suspect in court after a deadly stabbing in New Bedford on Friday. The victim worked in the courthouse where that suspect was arraigned today. Hi, I'm Emily Volz. And hello, once again, everyone. I'm Dan Janik. She was actually an employee in the probation department. NBC 10's Kennedy Buck was in New Bedford today as that suspect faced a judge. A courtroom in pain Monday afternoon. After a major loss. We had a murder on Friday. Uh, Terry Fidago was stabbed uh, in an apartment near St. Luke's Hospital. New Bedford police responded to this apartment building on Atlantic Street. 31-year-old Carrie Fidago was found unresponsive in the basement and suffering from stab wounds. The Bristol County DA's office says the suspect is Tyler Dow Baglini from Dartmouth, who was in a romantic relationship with Fidago at the time. Uh, this defendant stabbed uh, Carrie Fidago to death. Uh, he soon thereafter appeared at St. Luke's Hospital with what we believe is the murder weapon. Court documents reveal that Fidago worked in the probation department here at New Bedford District Court. She and Baglini went to high school together and kept in touch. Defendant uh, walked into St. Luke's Hospital shortly after the murder and made statements subsequent to that uh, about being present when the stabbing took place. Documents say that in interviews with family members and friends, Fidago described him as clingy and said that he would become upset when not given enough attention. Police found a text message sent from Fidago to Baglini's mother saying that she was afraid of him and his behavior. Baglini will be back in court on October 11th. That will be a status date on his uh, mental health evaluation. In New Bedford, Kennedy Buck, NBC 10 News.